I worked for a fine art museum for about 13 years, and I think I think kind of got into my skin working in the walls of that beautiful museum. And when I left there, I went to a warehouse downtown Tulsa, and I started painting every day and didn't tell anyone. And I painted many, many years ago, but I painted every day for for maybe a year without telling anyone. It was the most interesting thing. It was like pouring out like a decade of. I came to San Miguel, we came to San Miguel, about my husband and I, about 25 years ago the first time. People, artists from film and writers and filmmakers and musicians and painters have come here because there's an amazing kind of sweet energy about this place that people like. And we came here just for a few days and we kept returning. And about 10 years ago, we came to San Miguel and we love the creative, environment and the fact that you really could have this nice tranquil space to work in. I find abstract work to be very challenging in the sense that with figurative work you can look at it and you can go, oh look at that man's face. He's looking at his little girl. Or isn't that a beautiful mountain you can just feel the cold air. That's figurative work. You can connect with it. People can immediately they know and they look where abstract work to me is a challenge so I'm constantly trying to find a voice for my work and I think recently I realized that I started in the performing arts and so I'm constantly trying to find a movement or a voice and so when I moved to Mexico several years ago I started and I've always loved graffiti so when I moved to Mexico I started kind of this non-language language because I started doing a show about art going beyond the lines of language and moving beyond the lines of language. I always try to have a movement or a, a voice, something that if I bring everything I have in, in my emotions, which is a lot, <laughs> if I bring it to the studio and put layer it on the canvas, uh, I find that the interpretation of my work through others when they filter it through their own experience is much more interesting than anything I could ever tell them. And I find myself writing in canvases a lot. I, if I like, I, you'll see words popping up everywhere and I have to hold back not do it. Sometimes I carve them in, sometimes I charcoal them in. Um, so I think I'm always trying to talk a lot with my work, but I love going to the openings and hearing what people see and what they think. And if they see something, and if they think something, and if they feel something, that's it for me.